Module 16, um, Historical Overview of Needs Analysis Within English for a Specific Movement. Uh, that's one of the subtopics uh, of the main um, uh, topic uh, of discussion from syllabus design to language curriculum development. Okay. So that's, uh, we're going to see what happened in the 1917s and how the notion of needs analysis uh, evolved. And uh, as, as you know, the very word ESP, I mean, obviously, English is being learned for a specific purpose. So th that led to the question, for example, a doctor needing a different set of language, an engineer needs different language. So this element led to the rise of needs analysis. All right. And I, I, I think uh, needs analysis is one of the uh, fundamental uh, components of uh, language curriculum design overall. Uh, but it was uh, in the 1970s when ESP emerged and subsequently it led to the debates about needs of the learners, what needs they have in terms of language learning. Okay. Um, as we have already discussed, like uh, uh, people learning English for general purposes have different needs as compared to people learning English for specific purposes. So, um, uh, so obviously, uh, 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 the reason why ESP uh, came uh, um, came on the surface was uh, uh, to meet the diverse needs of diverse uh, learners. And uh, uh, I think Stephen. Uh, 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 describes it very, very precisely how and what is involved in ESP. Um, obviously, when, when we talk about specific purpose, we talk about specific needs. So uh, that was determined by restriction. Uh, if, for example, a, a language learner is interested to uh, learn the skills of speaking. So this, uh, the instructor is going to start with the basics, all right? And selection, to select the materials which are specifically as compared to uh, commonly, the concept of common. So to select grammatical or lexical units which are very specific, okay? And the topics and the themes should be designed in a way which meets the specific needs. I mean, if uh, a doctor is learning English, it doesn't mean, like, obviously it's, it's, it's considered that a particular student has, uh, has a specific mastery on uh, general elements of the language. But secondly, the, the uh, selection of the topics and the themes should be put in an order which, which fulfills the required needs. And the communicative needs, that's a very key element of uh, ESP. Um, I mean, after, uh, after completing uh, a course, whether it's a short course or a longer one, what they're going to do eventually in their, uh, in their professional life. So this, this is what actually involves. It involves uh, restriction, selection, themes, and communicative needs as, uh, as some of the variables. Okay. Um, how learners' needs are described in ESP. And I think it's very interesting, like uh, what the learner would do after doing a language course as compared to learner learning English for general purposes. So this is what actually led uh, to the notion of uh, uh, needs analysis. All right. Um, and... Uh, Needs analysis, actually, um, uh, when the notion of needs analysis uh, emerged, the question, who's going to be involved? Who's going to be a party of the needs? Whether it's going to be ex exclusively students or the teachers or the administration, right? So it, 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 uh, uh, it involved a combination of uh, various sectors from 
learners to teachers to employees obviously if uh, if uh, if a person is learning english for specific purposes so he would be expecting she would be expecting to learn that element of english which is desired by her employees okay so and uh, needs analysis uh, also led to think about the resources available and what kind of activities uh, can be introduced or the students can be exposed to and which language functions uh, and which of the four skills right whether they need reading first or speaking or writing so this ha- this needs to be determined that's 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 how um, it became an important part uh, uh, of esp in the earlier decades of the 20th century okay so the procedures how needs analysis can be conducted that's what we go, we will uh, do in uh, in depth in our later sessions but initially that can be uh, that can be undertaken through questionnaires and uh, surveys and interviews and uh, this is how like uh, different uh, tools uh, are used uh, to collect information regarding the needs of the learners we will see all these elements in greater length when we we will do needs analysis as one of the um, uh, main topics of language curriculum design so overall what i mean to say uh, i mean esp emerged as a movement and this led to the notion of needs because learners uh, needed language proficiency for specific needs 